thank you all so much. There are so many people that in this state that care about you learning how to read. Because we know that we need you reading right on grade level by the time you get to third grade so that then you can be successful when you get up to go to middle school and high school and then grow up to be whatever you want to be. Reading is the most important thing you need to be focused on right now. And we have a lot of people in the state focused on your reading from kindergarten to third grade. And I was actually meeting with them this morning. This morning, I talked to a whole bunch of teachers that are really focused on when you get into kindergarten all the way to third grade, making sure that you can read the way we need you to, the way you need to. But you know what? It's going to take a lot more people to help all the students in this state learn how to read on the grade level they need to be at. So that's why today I am very excited to announce to y'all and to everyone here that the state of North Carolina is going to be rolling out a statewide initiative called NC Reads. Can you guess what NC stands for? Making Smart Choices. I'll take it. It's the state. It's the state. North Carolina. NC Reads. NC Reads is going to be a statewide initiative where we connect book drives and volunteers and preschool programs and parents and other stakeholders all around the idea of supporting you before you even get to kindergarten, when you're in kindergarten, and all the way till you get up to the third grade and beyond, helping teachers help you to make sure you're reading on grade level. So let me just tell you what some of the exciting things we have first lined up. Who here is excited about summer? Good, summer vacation's coming up. But we don't want you to lose all the learning that you did this year over summer when you go home. So the first thing we're doing is rolling out our NC Read Summer Book Drive. We're gonna be working with local schools all across the state to get book donations, our money donations to buy books. And we're gonna use those to give out to you to take home for the summer so that you have books where, when you go home for the summer. Also, something that's really exciting are the people from a place called Myon. Myon is this really exciting, cool thing that you can use if you have a computer at home, or if you have any kind of smartphone, or your parents have a smartphone, or any kind of tablet. You will get to log in and create your own personalized reading plan that you get to pick what books you want to read. And the people at Myon have agreed to give every student in kindergarten through fifth grade a free subscription for the summer. That means we're going to be reaching out to your schools so that you can sign up for this really cool tool that's free. And it's also exciting because you might not be able to read yet by yourself. There are certain books on Myon where the words will read to you, just like I read you this book. So even if you don't have an adult with you at that moment, you can be practicing your reading over the summer all by yourself. Is that pretty cool? Yes. Then we're also going to be working on the NC Reads website. We have so many people that are working to help you be the best reader you can be. We need to align those resources. Some of them are, are like, uh, harvest, harvest book. Book harvest. Book harvest. Thank you. Book harvest. Uh, they are doing a great job getting books into the hands of students. And we need to make sure that we highlight those efforts on our one website where parents can go and find out where they can get resources and information about reading. So we're going to be building that up over the summer. And it's really, really exciting. And I wanted to, I want to thank uh, Senator Chad Barefoot uh, walked in. Thank you for being here, sir. Um, did you have anything that you wanted to say uh, while you're here? No, you can keep rolling. Okay, great. I just, uh, you know, the, the General Assembly really has gotten us a great head start on the Read to Achieve program. But, and that actually happens when you're in school from kindergarten to third grade. 
We're going to come in with all the resources the state has to offer, and we're going to support that program, and we're going to reach out. Does anybody here have any little brothers or sisters? How old is your little brothers or sisters? How old, how, do you know how old they are? How old? Maybe they're two or three? Mine? The other, mom, I have a cousin and he goes to high school. Okay. He goes to a nine high school. Good. Well, we need to focus on them too, and we'll continue the continuum. We'll talk about that. Who has a little Who has a little baby at home? Well, how, how old is your little brother or sister? Do you know? Eleven. Eleven. Well, that's your bigger brother and sister. I don't have a sister. Okay, bigger, older brother. So we have we have people. Y'all have little brothers and sisters. Okay. Well, y'all a baby brother. Great. My name is Sunny. Well, you and, you and your parents or caretakers, they need to be reading every day and encouraging reading at home. And that's going to be great because if they do that, then we'll have, help them come to kindergarten ready to be in kindergarten. So I'm really excited to roll this out. Uh, I also wanted to list some of the other platforms that we can, uh, that we can get on this website. Uh, we have... Uh, obviously book harvest we have wake up and read and then there are so many other ones out there that parents need to know about like first book all the way to dolly parton's imagination library to the local libraries have programs to reach out and read to the nc reading association all of these groups want to help you read and we're going to align those efforts so beyond this summer beyond this summer we're going to focus on using NC Reads to create a seamless continuum of literacy support from preschool all the way up until graduation. So anyone who has a baby at home, a little brother or sister, you're going to be able to bring books home. And even if a parent's come home with a new baby, it's their first baby, we're going to be partnering with pediatricians and hospitals and other community organizations to make sure every parent or caretaker in this state knows it's so important to read to your child at least once a day. Because that way, children, when they get to kindergarten, will know about books and will know about letters. And we have our kindergarten teachers, they're working really hard. Does your teacher work really hard? Yes. Yes, your teacher works really hard because she really cares about you. You know what? Some students don't come into kindergarten where we need them to be when they're coming into kindergarten. And as hard as your teachers work, and they help you grow a year for every year you're in the classroom, sometimes some students come in one or two years behind, and that means by third grade we still haven't helped them catch up. And that's why NC Reads is going to really focus on preschool and getting that information out to parents to read to their children. Can I show you my, my favorite book? Let's do one. Oh, Representative Horn, thank you for, for coming. Would you like to say something real quick? Well, a politician never misses an opportunity. <laughs> so, so. I got to thinking, what was my favorite book? My kid's favorite book was Are You My Mother? Oh, yes! Oh, yes. 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 I think they know that I one. That I book. think you I know. Do you, I know love. you know why that was my kid's favorite book? Because when, uh, when the little bird says to the steam shovel, are you my mother? What did the steam shovel say? Snort. 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and every time I'd laugh, and I couldn't finish the book because I was laughing too hard. That was my kid's favorite book. Well, we're going to help superintendent, uh, the superintendent implement what he was just talking about, bringing about 